Hi, Eric here with Vogel Social Media with another how-to video tutorial for you. Today I'm going to show you how to add a shopping cart directly to your Facebook fan page. So if you're selling products, DVDs, books, merchandise, you can have a shopping cart right on your site. So here I'm going to show you on my soccer Facebook page. Here's a tab called Shop Now. You click that. It goes right to the shopping cart. Here's my products. So I am selling soccer training DVDs beginner, intermediate, and advanced, and then also as a package of all three of these into one. Okay, and these are all purchased, so once someone comes to here, comes to my page, shop now, clicks the product that they'd like, so let's say they want this beginner soccer DVD, click that, they click add to cart, they get a close-up view, they get a little description here at the bottom that you can uh, put in there, I'll show you how to do that add to cart it adds it into their shopping cart above and you can uh, continue shopping so you can go back here go to the DVDs and that just keeps that DVD in in the shopping cart above so if you have a ton of products you can they're all saved in your shopping cart so people can buy multiple products at once so we'll go ahead and just keep this one in here we'll do secure checkout they fill out this information and it's all done through PayPal they put in their address for the shipping information and they check out. All right, so I'll show you how to do this here. So first off, you want to go log into your Facebook, go to your home page, click on applications on the left column, scroll down and you'll see applications directory at the bottom. You want to click that. This gives us the ability to search for applications. So the application to add add the shopping cart the store onto your website is pay v mint type that in press enter there it is so you're going to want to click that click go to application okay since i'm already registered on pay v mint it will have you register first before you'll see this screen here so it's going to take you to the pay v mint you're gonna to have to register your account and attach your PayPal information to the store so it knows where to pay you so it can attach when people buy your products can attach to PayPal so it can uh, it knows where to send the money to alright so let's go ahead and add a new product so once you go through that process, you'll come back here, you'll be in your dashboard, and we're going to add a new product here. So item name, Adidas Soccer Ball. Item ID, 008. Okay, and here I have the DVDs store category. So if you have a ton of products that are different from one another, you can have different categories. So I made a category equipment. So soccer equipment like balls or jerseys, whatnot. If you wanted to create your own category, go ahead and click here, click there, and create a new category. So you put in the category name. So let's do shirts. Let's save that. And now it made a new category in in my store. So let's go back here. Let's type that in again. Adidas match ball 008. Now let's put it on um, equipment. But as you can see, it added the shirts category. I just wanted to show you how to do that there. Price 50 bucks. Shipping method you can do various shipping methods, but I'm going to keep it a flat rate at four dollars. Enable additional quantity, yes, if, if you have multiple items, soccer balls for in this instance, you put yes there. And additional shipping for the product item description, Adidas official match ball. Okay. Now you can do the option set, so if you're selling shirts, you can have different colors, different sizes, of course. For here, I'm selling soccer balls, so I will have different sizes. So I can go ahead and click here and do 
size 3, size 4, size 5, just like we did for the categories up here. So I'm not going to do that because it'll make me fill out this information again, but you get the idea. You can click there ahead of time before you start filling out this information. So it's a featured, do you want it to be a featured item? Do you want it on your main storefront page? Yes. If you have a lot of products, you're just going to want your main ones on the front page. Enable sales tax if you want that. And if you wanted to add it to your storefront right now or save it to do it later. I want it up there now, so I'll put save and continue. I'm going to browse my image. Uh, let's see. Low cut ball. Put that in there. Oh, it has to be a JPEG. Okay. Well, what I'm going to do is instead of the soccer ball, I'm going to use this image because it has to be a JPEG. That other file must not have been a JPEG file. All right, so there's my, your, my image. And go ahead and return to the products and see how it looks. So we're going to drop down. We put it in a different category, so it's not going to show up here on the main page. Equipment. Go ahead and go to equipment. And there it is, Adidas Match Ball, 50 bucks, unlimited stock. And that's how you create your storefront on your Facebook fan page.